Today we're going to be talking about some really unique discounts for seniors and some you may not have thought of. Now I'm talking about people who are over 55. Even if you don't consider yourself a senior, you could be saving yourself tons of money. I'm going to go through those coming up next. Hi everybody, my name is Dee Burks and this is Retirement Rescue where we talk about how to make money, save money, and create a retirement from nothing. Well, one of the best ways to save money once you get over 55 are senior discounts. There are so many discounts and freebies available, but a lot of times you need to ask for them. And for some reason, people are hesitant to do that sometimes. But I'm going to talk about a few of the ones you may not have heard of, and then some you may just be missing in this quick list. Now, oftentimes when people think of senior discounts, they think of things like travel, you know, airfare, cruises, hotel rooms. And yes, there are senior discounts available in almost all of those areas. They are usually associated with a group like AARP. If you're a member of that group, you get a 10, 15%, 20% discount on many of, of these items. And the reason most companies require you to be a member of an association like that is that they don't have to have their own program. AARP has already verified your age. They don't have to do it. All you have to do is show them the card. They don't have to have their own program. They don't have to produce their own cards. And it's cheap. So obviously a lot of seniors and people over 55 already use those discounts because they know about them. However, there are some other discounts you may not be aware of. And one of the best is with our national parks. Now, a lot of people visit national parks. We have tons of national parks all over the country. We also have a lot of state parks. A lot of these parks offer discounts in various areas for seniors and those over 55. Now, let's talk about national parks specifically. The national parks, if you want an annual pass that will get you into every national park in the country, as well as uh, national forests, uh, Bureau of Land Management areas, like for camping and that kind of thing, all of those different federal areas, if you want a pass, it's normally, if you're not a senior, $80 a year. $80. But it still gets you into all the parks. However, once you hit 62, you can get the same exact yearly pass to every park in the country for only $20. Oh, but wait, there's an even better deal for the national parks. If you want to pay a one-time fee when you get to be 62 of $80, the same amount you would have paid the year before just for one year, once you hit 62, that $80 gets you a lifetime pass. The rest of your life, you never pay again to get into one of those national parks or monuments. That is an incredible deal. Incredible. And the thing is, because these parks usually charge by the car load of people, it gets you and three other adults in free, completely free. You can take your kids. Uh, of course, you could always take your grandkids because kids under 16 are free anyway, but you can take your kids and grands and get people in the park for free. It's great. Now, there are also other various discounts on uh, things you can enjoy at the park, camping, uh, various things you can do, uh, water recreation, that sort of thing. And you'll have to contact each park and see what their discount is for a senior. But those are great ways to go and have fun. You can take the family and really enjoy those discounts. Now, state parks are very similar in a lot of ways. You can get discounts for annual passes for seniors, depending on your age. And every state is a little bit different. Some it's 55, some 60, some 65, you know, and there are various levels of discount. For example, in my state, if you want a fishing license, 
A fishing license is normally right now about $25. By the time they add everything on, it's $40. Um, but once you get to 65, between the ages of 65 and 69, it's $8. Once you hit 70, your fishing license is free. Now, you always have to have a fishing license to fish, but that fishing license allows you to fish for free, and that is valuable. There are a lot of seniors in the area I live, and I'm about to be one of them, <laughs> that love to go fishing, and fish is a great addition to your diet. Fresh trout from a mountain lake is fabulous, and so that's one of the great things you can take advantage of, but every state is different. The types of discounts and offers absolutely are different everywhere you are, but they bear looking into because you can plan an entire weekend. You can be out enjoying nature for a fraction of the cost it would have cost you just a few years ago. So those are things to definitely look, look into. Now the second thing I'm going to talk about is groceries. A lot of us know we can get discounts on groceries. Of course, people use their coupons. They use their, you know, club card if they have one to that grocery store. But most grocery stores will also offer a discount specifically for seniors. Now, grocery stores usually have a really thin profit margin. It's just a few percentage points. And so those discounts tend to be between 5 and 10%, and they really vary depending on the grocery store. So be sure you read the fine print on those. But let me give you some examples. Harris Teeter is a major grocery store chain, and it offers senior discounts of 5% off your order, your whole order, and you can get that discount every Thursday. So every single week on Thursday, they offer you a discount of 5%. There are a few exceptions like, you know, alcohol, fuel, pharmacy. There are a few things that don't get that discount but there starts for people over 60. So be sure you check the fine print and sometimes the cashier doesn't realize you're over 60 or might not remember, so you might have to remind them. But they extend that discount to grocery pickup as well. So on Thursday, you get that senior discount. Now there's another grocery store, Albertsons and Safeway, both, same company, but Albertsons offers a 10% discount, which is huge huge. 10% off groceries is really, really a big deal. But they only offer it once a month. The first Wednesday of the month, they offer that 10% discount, and it's for people over 55. But these programs vary by store. You know, and as I was researching this, I thought it was kind of funny that uh, one of the grocery stores that discontinued here recently their senior discount was Publix. Publix is headquartered in Florida. Guess where most of their stores are? Florida. Even though they're throughout the southeast, most of their stores are in Florida. Guess which state has a huge population of retirees? <laughs> now the corporate line was they could offer bigger discounts in other areas, but honestly there were so many seniors taking advantage of their discount, they discontinued the program. But most other grocery stores will have this program, and 5 to 10% may not sound like much, but it's actually big when we're talking about groceries. So be sure and check those out. Use them every time you can, and those will save you a tremendous amount of money over the course of a year. Now let's talk about transportation. Now a lot of the major carriers like, you know, airlines, again, cruise ships, um, trains, and track, they all offer senior discounts on some level. And a lot of those are very good, but again, most of them require you to be a member of AARP. But one of the areas that people don't often think about is public transportation. They will always have senior discounts and may even offer transportation for free over a certain age. Anything from transportation to anything that is funded with public money usually offers really great senior discounts or free things for seniors. That's part of the deal. If they're funded with public money, they have to really be of benefit to the community. And one of the ways these entities do that is to offer special things for seniors. So don't forget public transportation when you are thinking about transportation costs. Another thing in the public sector is public 
colleges, whether that be a little local college or even a larger university, if it is publicly funded, then they will offer great senior classes. Some of them are next to nothing as far as cost. They may have a minimal cost, but it's very minimal. Others they offer for free. Here again, they have to do that to retain part of that public funding. They have to offer these public benefits. And they have great classes. If you want to learn to dance, if you want an exercise class, if you want to learn photography, how to write a book. And I used to teach classes at Amarillo College, which, which is a public small college in Amarillo, Texas. And one of the perks of teaching a class, a continuing ed class, was, well, number one, you get just a little bit of money for it. Not a lot, but a little bit. You get paid. But one of the other perks was you or a family member could take any class for free that semester. Every semester, I got a free class that either I could use, my spouse could use, or one of my children could use. That was a huge benefit, I thought. Because when you couple that with what you're being paid to teach the class, that's great. So that's one of those things you can get for free. Now the last area, again, are things that are funded with public dollars. They will always offer great senior discounts. Things like museums, uh, community theater, botanical gardens, anything like that that's funded with public money will always have a great senior discount. But as is true with all these discounts, you have to ask for them. They're not just going to advertise those. You have to go and ask and you would be amazed at how much money you could save. If your budget is $50,000 a year and you can shave 10 to 15 percent off that budget just through researching and using this, these discounts, that's $5,000 to $7,500 a year you could be using to pay down debt, save for a vacation, pay down your mortgage, really fluff up your emergency fund. If you feel like things are tight, these discounts could mean the difference between you feeling financially stressed and taking a breather. So be sure and check out these and any other discount you can find. Always ask for that discount. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please click subscribe and I'll see you next time.